oh, it's important to be here because Canadians are fed up with the situation and they want to gain, regain our freedoms and that's why I'm here today. And I think it's important to show to Canadians that we want to regain our freedoms and our lives back and that's why people are here today and uh, you know it's not a protest i believe it's more a rally a rally and we are celebrating we are happy to be here together and that's an important message to every canadian don't live in fear you know the virus is there we understand that but now we must learn to live with that virus and we are living here today with the virus so we, if there's no reason anymore to have lockdowns and, and vaccine passport and all that. That's the main message. And we are telling them over there that are sitting in that, in that building, enough is enough. We want to regain our freedoms as soon as possible. There's no logic, there's no science for these the draconian measures. We must end that. And that's what we are saying. But also look at what is happening around the world. In UK, they said enough is enough. There's no mandates in, in, anymore there. In Florida, in Texas, in San, South Dakota. So the virus is there. Yes, we understand that. But now we need to learn to live with that virus and not in fear. That's, what, that's why we are here today, peacefully, not protesting, but uh, you know, enjoying our freedom, and we want that every single day of the year. What about uh, Doug Ford? Why, why doesn't he follow Boris Johnson's example, or Denmark's example, or Ireland's example? What, what's his problem? I, I don't know. You must ask him. I believe that. I believe that. You know, the you election. Get an answer from the, him? the election is coming in Ontario. That would be this spring. The election is coming also in Quebec. That would be next fall. And I believe that they will have a surprise. Maybe they won't like the result because the silent majority is fed up and we are saying no to that. No more, no more. And that's why we are here today. You know, like, And I can tell you the People's Party of Canada is ready for the next general election and we will have PPC members of parliament and the common sense will be back in that building. And you, you yes, know, yes, yes. They have a vaccine mandate planned for all federal workplaces where truckers go, including ports, elevators, feed mills. That's the next thing. What do you think about that? That's going to have a major impact on our food chain too. That's in Canada, domestic. That's not it even is, cross. It yeah. is. That's why we are here. We just want to end all that. A lot of people lost their jobs because of the of, of these mandates. You know, it's not Canadians. It's unconstitutional. It's illegal. Exactly. We must end all that. That's why these people are here. Are you working with the former Premier of Newfoundland, Peckford, on his yes. case? Yeah, uh, yes, I'm surely. I'm, 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 I congratulate what he's doing. That's great. I'm very proud of him. And yes, I'm supporting what he's doing. What is it with our politicians that they just don't believe in the charter or they've just, they've somehow abandoned the charter, they've forgotten what it means? Yes. Yeah. The problem is not the Charter of Rights. The problem is not our Constitution. The problem is these people in that building. They don't respect the Constitution. And we are here to tell them, respect our rights and our freedoms. That's our message. Yes! 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 Thank you. Woo!